right. This is a, this is a continued series. Of I'm angling stop angling me. Angling. Come on. Sorry. Taylor wants us closer because we're yeah, not yeah. close enough in these listen, videos. Listen. We are doing an anti-rotational series for you guys today. So here's the deal. I want to address something before we continue on the series because I'm sure the previous two videos already got a bunch of trolls in the comments. I already know that. So oh, I can't wait. Well, here's the deal. We are teaching you guys some movements that I'm sure some people have seen before. And ironically, it probably looks different than what you've seen before. And that's because this is another one of those examples of where exercises have been bastardized. Oh, yeah. It's Someone has taken a great movement for a great purpose, and they've completely changed it. Now, sure, you can do that, but there was a reason why a lot of these movements were created. And so a lot of these movements that we're doing were specifically for anti-rotational purposes, which is basically to strengthen your core, support your spine, so when you go do these big movements, you're safe, right? Right, it's all about the intent, and I think that we've gotten away from the intent and we've gotten more into what's gonna blast me uh, the most and where am I gonna feel this more, with the burn of it, at least. So, yeah, you're right. So a lot of these exercises we're gonna show, you've seen probably before, but we're gonna go ahead and kind of show you what an anti-rotation uh, intent looks like. So pay close attention to how Justin sets himself up into the exercise. Pay close attention to that he doesn't go does he doesn't go completely through full range of motion. He's actually stopping and resetting back into the neutral position. So watch that at the end of this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned all the way to the end. We'll make sure to give you guys a prescription on how to include this into your guys' routines, how many sets, reps, things like that, what to do. So make sure you guys stay all the way to the end. We'll make sure we do that. Justin? Okay, great. So what we're gonna do first is an extended plank pull through. And then I'll just have Adam sort of go ahead and coach me into position here and we'll get to it. So before you even get into the exercise, Justin's gonna get down into the plank position. How you set up is important. So make sure you understand how to get into a plank. If you guys have not seen our plank video before, refer into the library. We have a great video on how to do a proper plank. A lot of people mess the plank up. So Justin's gonna get his hands underneath his shoulders, get nice and squared up. He's gonna extend his legs. So he's now in the plank position. His glutes are activated. You can't see it right now, but he's kind of squeezing his butt to keep him nice and tight. A lot of people have that arch in their low back. So by squeezing the glutes, kind of rotating the pelvis forward, he already starts to activate that core. So he's already in a nice solid plank. And then he's gonna reach his arm through and grab the kettlebell. Now as he pulls through, he is not gonna pull all the way through to where he starts to lift his shoulder blade up. He wants to stay nice and square. Let's go, then he grabs with the other arm drags it through, notice his back. His back is nice and square and solid as he's pulling the kettlebell. Justin, do one more on each side so they can see as you pull through, how you stay nice and stationary. He's not dragging and swinging the dumbbell and getting any rotation. His hips are staying nice and solid, his upper back nice and solid. So that's your guys' kettlebell drag. You can use a sandbag, you can use a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell. You can pretty much use anything to pull through. That's not the point of the exercise is what you use, it's so much how you use it. Okay, great. So the next um, exercise that you see is commonly um, misused. misused. It, <clears throat> it's gonna be our landmine rotation, so. We're can gonna go landmine rotation. Here's where it's really different. So Justin's gonna start with the landmine close to his chest. Notice his elbows are tucked in. He's nice and solid, hips are solid. Now, a lot of people, when they do this exercise, they extend their arms and they create this long lever. Sure, you're gonna feel it a lot more when you do that, but again, we're trying not to rotate the spine in this situation. He's gonna keep the rotation. So he's gonna dip his elbows in and keep them tight as he rotates. Notice how his elbow stays tight by his side. He rotates to the other side. The elbows tucks in. Notice his hips. You're looking at his hips, how his hips stay nice and squared up. Normally when you see people do this movement, you see them rotate their hips to the right and left and you see twisting going on. The idea again is to stabilize the spine, keep it nice and stiff and still as Justin rotates the landmine from side to side. So his elbow dips in tight, he swings to the other side, elbow dips in tight, keeping it close to his body, keeping his hips squared up and not twisting as he rotates from side to side. Excellent. So those two movements, now these are strength type exercises. So when we do these movements, a little bit different from the very first video that we showed you, the first video we showed you is kind of priming you for exercise movements. If we were to prescribe this in a routine, we would do it just like the last two exercises we did, where we're doing anywhere between three to four sets. 
you're gonna do somewhere between 10 to 15 repetitions at least. So you're not trying to do really, really heavy loaded here. It's all about the intent, right? right. How you do the movement. Yeah, just pay attention to the quality. And uh, this whole series really, we wanna really hone in on what quality movement is and what we're trying to accomplish uh, with uh, the purpose of the exercise. So. And you can hear Justin's out of breath. It does not take a lot of yeah. weight for this to be a challenging exercise. It's about the intent, it's about the movement, it's about keeping yourself stable throughout the entire movement while you do this. So you guys will see in the screen, we pop up the reps, sets, how to do this and, and implement it into your workout. Listen, if you guys like these videos, you guys get good information on here, make sure you guys comment below, subscribe and share. Appreciate the love.